in the Nats extra pregame. Dan Kolko joined by Jackson Rutledge, who we had starting off that highlight package. Pitched really well two nights ago. Jackson, thanks for sitting down with me, man. Good yeah, to see you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, so you've got two starts as a major leaguer under your belt now, and we get to see a guy tonight in Jake Irvin, who is a rookie at the big league level this year. And I'm sure you've kind of been watching from afar as you've been making your way up through the minor league system what Jake has done. You guys have probably gotten to know each other a little bit over, over the last couple of years, probably haven't been minor league teammates, but what do you think of what Jake has done and your goals now to kind of follow that and, and do what he's done in terms of going into a big league rotation and sticking around for a while? Yeah, we actually played together back in 2019 in Hagerstown, Maryland, uh, which nice. no longer has an affiliate there. Right. But, um, yeah, we were teammates back then, and he was a guy back then that, uh, you know, I kind of looked to to figure out pro ball and uh, – and I kind of learned from him, and um, now I'm doing the same thing here. Is uh, you know he's grown so much this year, um, from the first few starts to where he's at now. He's um, he's just become uh, you know just a, a a really good major league pitcher who's getting deep into games, like you mentioned. And it's fun to see him grow. And, and now I get to come into a clubhouse and uh, learn from him, and just like uh, it was in Hagerstown. <laughs> so it's always cool for us, Jackson, to watch guys get called up here and realize their dream. And it's regardless of whether you're a first round pick like you were or whether you're picked in the 20-somethingth round, which don't exist anymore. It, it's awesome regardless. Your journey here had some bumps along the way, some ups and some downs. You got the call from Matt Lee Croy a couple weeks ago in his office at, at AAA Rochester. How do you just encapsulate this whole ride and now getting to be here wearing a major league uniform? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, like you said, I was a first-round draft pick, but I did not have a, a straight path at all. Um, I struggled a lot. I had some pretty bad years. Um, and from that, I think I've grown so much, not only as a baseball player, but as a person and as a man. Um, just learning how to deal with adversity and learning, um, you know, that, that while baseball is very important, it's, it's not the only important thing. And I'm, right. um, that kind of frees me up to go out on the field and just um, just do what I'm going to do and be confident in it and uh, not worry about failure too much and uh, just, you know, being able to have the year I had this year and, and go out and um, make those first couple of big league starts is, uh, is an amazing feeling. And, uh, um, you know, God's blessed me with so much and I'm um, just really happy to be here. Was that tough to, to mentally kind of frame it that way for yourself? Or have you been a guy that, that's just kind of taken a positive mindset regardless of, of what he's come across? No, I think I've definitely grown in that in that mindset. Um, you know, if you talk to me back in, in 21 where I had like a, a, a 10 ERA in, in low A, I think I'd uh, probably give you a different answer. I'd probably be a little frustrated. And, you know, why, why is... Uh, why is this happening? Why am I getting hit? Why am I walking, guys? Um, but I've just taken that and I've learned from it. I've um, just made the adjustments and uh, not only physically but mentally, um, just being able to go out and like free myself up to go and compete and just just throw my best stuff with confidence. And and uh, what happens beyond that is out of my control. What was it like going into that first major league start in Pittsburgh? Because you, you've talked about it. You had a long layoff. You, you yeah. were scratched from your previous start down in the minors. I'm sure there was so much in, in terms of nerves and adrenaline, and you had the long layoff. I, I mean, how do you put into words what the buildup was like for that moment? Yeah, it was uh, it was not easy. I think um, just kind of sitting there during that time where I got scratched. Uh, I was supposed to pitch the night before. Uh, we got rained out like 30 minutes before the game time, which has happened to me probably more than anybody else in the minor <laughs> this year. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm the rain man this year. But um, and then that next day. Uh, you know, um, being told that they're pushing me back, not sure what's going on, and then um, just so that was a that was a long few days trying to keep myself locked in mentally. But um, uh, you know, like you said, long layoff is tough, um, and you know, I think I showed uh, the second time out that uh, getting in that rhythm has, has helped me a ton. Um, the first time out uh, is is it was amazing. Um, got my whole family there. It was it was a beautiful thing. But um, getting in a rhythm now and um, really starting to pitch and starting to, to learn and adjust uh, is what's going to you know continue to make me successful. So I swear I would not bring this up if there wasn't a reason behind it. Drew Millis drills you in the head in, in, <laughs> on, on his throw down to second base in your big league debut. So I asked Drew earlier today what question I should ask you. You, you know Drew pretty well. He knows you pretty yeah. well. He said that you got the baseball that he hit you with and you signed it and wrote a, a message on it can you uh, share yeah, with us yeah, what that is yeah i said th thanks for the brain damage <laughs> <laughs> obviously there is no brain damage i'm fine but uh you know gotta chirp him gotta keep it light a little bit uh don't overthink it i'm, I'm okay i'm a big guy i need to get out of the way a little bit more but <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, we got a good relationship, and uh, that was pretty. That was pretty funny. That's and incredible. Got the ball for us. <laughs> really good stuff there. Um, so you've you've had some time now since that debut, and even since your second start, to just kind of. 
fit into the culture here and, and learn how these guys are going about it on a daily basis. You've got coaches here that prepare you for your next start in a certain way, advance guys. How are you adapting to, you know, being a big league pitcher now with all of the tools that you have at your disposal? Yeah, I mean, I, th I say the biggest thing in this clubhouse right now is we're playing we're playing excited. We're playing with energy, um, and even in the clubhouse right now, guys are excited to come to the field. I'm excited to come to the field, which is an amazing thing. Um, that's going to, you know, continue to push us uh, in the next few years. Um, just kind of get that practice to play to play baseball that matters. And, um, you know, for me, uh, kind of learning from, like I said, the guys like Irvin, the, the younger guys, we have so many young guys on the staff that I can go up and talk to. And, and even the veterans have been great um, with me just – uh, keeping me included and uh, and keeping me, you know, kind of learning stuff. Uh, being able to look at the scouting reports has been great. Um, already starting to look at Atlanta here coming up, and then um, uh, you know just continuing to get the work I need and, and uh, the resources we have are awesome. So in that second start uh, here, over the last few days, you, you went six and a third. You were pitch efficient. You had like 70 something pitches going into the seventh inning. What was your biggest takeaway from that start, or the biggest positive in your eyes coming out of that that outing? I mean, I'd say that was, uh, you know, just just kind of what I do. That's that's when I'm on. I'm not the guy that's going to go out and punch 12, but I'm the guy. I'm the guy that's going to go out and, and get through eight innings on 80 pitches uh, when I'm when I'm truly on. Um, you know, I, just getting ahead early and getting first pitch out, second pitch outs. Um, I take that all day over a you know five or six pitch strikeout, and so uh, just just getting ahead, making guys take uncomfortable swings, mixing the four seam and the sinker. Um, that's 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 kind of what I pride myself on. Well, Jackson, congratulations. The, the first big league win will come, but a really solid outing your last time out. It's been a long road, like you said, to get here. So enjoy the heck out of it, man, and we're excited to watch you going forward. Thank you. I appreciate it. Jackson Rutledge doing a great job throughout this year from double A AA to triple A to the big league.